Hello and welcome to the Great Fast and Flies on Ground Fighters. Mine gets inside Rhino on Zoo Bailers. Let me just check you out. Let's see what you're doing. David's poised for the last leg of Natombi's 16 month long pregnancy. What we're looking for, I'm telling you. Sally's surprise at Kevin's piles on Coronation Street. Kevin, I've been married to you for over 20 years. Those were not your knees running behind that big pair of tomatoes. <laughs> and Pollywood Wardery on the family. I was very pleased to see who bought in Witten store in the box last week. Hi there. How are you doing? Can I interest you in my chicken game? Yeah, I'll pay a chicken game for you. This is a section of a, a, a metre square of a huge chicken farm where they're rearing standard birds for, for Tesco or any other supermarket. How many birds would you be happy to see in this indoor space? Yeah, I've got no other games. <laughs> This of course was huge chicken one and it's to attempt to change their eating habits. Have you been watching Jamie? <laughs> His first move is to reduce the interest of chicken farms. So what's next? What if I set up my own intensive chicken farm? Yeah, you just got your own intensive chicken farm. What? How's that work? Surely that means you increase the intensity of a chicken farm. It's an experience. One half intensive, the other three reigns. Ah, and before you know it, he's got 3,000 baby chicks turning up. And they are so fun, baby chicks, aren't they? If there was plenty of room for them as just hatched chicks, but it wouldn't be long before this was a densely packed house. <laughs> <laughs> Over on the free range side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, baby chicks, great fun. They're not real, all right. Like. But the big thing is, look where acorns grow. The long before the chicks have now came chickens, and it's getting a little bit uncomfortable in the barn. What animal of any kind would want to live in here? A fox. <laughs> Two foxes. Poor Hugh. Poor Hugh, part of the intensive farm method, is the cow. I really don't want to kill another bird this morning. Well don't then. Hmm? Sure farm, everything I have is dead. Fish fingers and that. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't watch Coronation Street, here's Steve McDonald to fill you in what's been going on. I've got Tracy Barlow pregnant who stalked me and then cancelled my wedding behind my back. I've got a baby daughter nobody knows about that's being looked after by the croppers. Roy thinks he's the father and so does his transsexual partner here. Now, here's Deirdre's mum Branch who's a slightly simpler version. They've already been told they can't adopt, haven't they? Because he's a loony and she's a man. Have you noticed that her branch's legs rattles when she starts walking? You indeed, what noise keeps in that shoulder bag? Oh, morning. Morning. <laughs> Sickness and diarrhea. Most people prefer a bucket. Which uh, brings us to a uh, TV highlight of the week. Oh, I see. Oh dear. Excuse me. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. 